She's an award-winning NBC News correspondent, best-selling author. I'm proud to serve with her on the Special Olympics International Board, a movement that we have been part of for the 40 plus years. Please join me, ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon in welcoming Maria Shriver to the stage with me. Maria. Hi, Atlanta. <laughs> Thanks again for being thank here. You, thank it's, you, Mutar, for it's having great. me. What, what can we all do, all of us? So I think what you're doing uh, internationally and what you're talking about doing here domestically, putting more women on the Coca-Cola board, uh, putting them at the front of understanding their role in families in terms of the information, the education, the empowerment. I think you empower a woman, you empower her whole family. Uh, and I talk a lot about, you talked about your three W's. I talk a lot about my four I's. And what I try to do with the Shriver Report and the work that we're doing is to inform the public, to inspire them, to ignite them and have impact. A lot of companies are being very inspiring in terms of job sharing, in terms of flexibility, in terms of benefits, in terms of helping people go back to school so they can uh, retain themselves in the workplace. One of the interesting things I found in the polling that we did, we polled 3,500 people across the country, was, as I said, we said, what do you need more than anything? And they said, sick days. And then what would help you in your business to stay there? And they said, if I had a direct supervisor who heard me, mm. who understood what I was dealing with, I don't want them to fix it. I just want them to know what my life is like. And that's a really simple, I think, solution that businesses can make. And how do we get men to subscribe more to this equation of, of more women empowered makes better um, communities better? Include uh, them. To empower women doesn't mean to disempower men. I'm very, I think that's a really important thing, that just because you're empowering a woman uh, doesn't mean that that's not good for men, because that woman is going to raise her family, her sons and her daughters. She's going to make sure that her husband, her partner, or the people in her life are also empowered.